Hello students, welcome to Shorsa's classes. In this video, I will be solving some economics honors model question papers with complete explanation. So here is a Lagrangian multiply based question they have given for the mathematical economics paper. And this is the entire function and subject to this. So this can be rewritten as x minus 2y equal to 0. So how to write the formation? So Z, so we can take it as like uh, P or Lagrange. So L, write the main function first. Plus, you know that I'm taking plus lambda. If it is X plus 2Y equal to Z, if I 3 like this, then it would have been like 3 minus x minus 2y if you are using this plus. So put everything in the RHS. So it is minus x plus 2y. There is no 0 over here. Now afterwards you have to do del L del x like partial derivative of the entire formation with respect to the first independent variable that is x. So which is 8x minus 3 plus 5y this part is done and only minus lambda and del L del y will be 5x minus 8 plus 4y minus sorry this one will be plus 2 lambda this is equal to 0 and del L del lambda there's a third one which is minus x plus 2y equal to 0 all you have to do is equate these two lambda values so 8x minus 3 plus 5y equal to 5x minus 8 plus 4y by 2 whole minus this thing. so this will give you one equation okay so minus, uh, I'm just putting it like 16x minus 6 plus 10y equal to minus 5x plus 8 minus 4y. This is 4, so 4y. So if we just solve these two formations, so 21x plus 14y equal to 14 or 3x plus 2y equal to 2. This one is one equation. We have another equation here minus x plus 2y equal to 0. If we just solve it, so 4x equal to 2, x equal to half and put it into any equation x equal to minus half plus 2y equal to 0 so minus half equal to minus 2y and y equal to 1 by 4 so x equal to half and y equal to 1 by 4 is the answer from the Lagrangian structure now they have asked the, they have asked you to optimize. So what is the optimum value? So at the place of z, all you have to do is to put these values like z equal to, you can solve it here, half and y equal to 1 by 4. So uh, this is like half, so 1 by 4, 3, this is 1 by 8, 1 by 4 and 2 by 16. So in this way, you can get the maximum value, which is nothing but 1 minus 3 by 2 plus 5 by 8. I hope you can solve it. That's it. So remember that just finding x and y will not be enough. You need to put these values into the given structure. Now coming to the next question. Find the relative maxima and minima of the given function. So whenever it's a two variable structure, the maximum and minima pattern changes a little bit. So for this you need to take a look into a video of mine on this. So here I you need to focus on this thing like you have to find a del f, del x1, del f, del x2, 
del 2f del x1 del 2f del x2 and then del 2f del x1 x2 it is actually the same whether you do x2 x1 and form a determinant based structure okay so what is the parts here so del f del x1 is 3x1 square plus 1 sorry minus 3x1 square plus 147 del f del x2 is 6x2 square minus 54 del f 2 del x1 is a derivative of this again so this is minus 6x1 only this is the derivative of this so this is 12x2 and any this function differentiated with respect to x1 will give you 0 this part is 0 so the first order these are the two first order condition and that should be equated with 0 so this will be equated with 0 so the first one gives you 3x1 squared equal to 1 4 7 so x1 squared equal to 49 and x1 equal to they have given have not given any restriction so x1 equal to plus minus 7 similarly 6 x2 square equal to 54 so x2 square equal to 9 x2 equal to plus minus 3 so if we take this as f11 as f12 sorry 22 and this one is as f12 then we have to form this f11 f12 f21 f22 and we need to check the values now here we have a very interesting uh, rule which some of you may not know that in order to have these kind of questions maximum meaning of a two variable system first if we take uh, this formation that is f11 if this thing is less than 0 and f11 into f22 minus f12 square that is this determined value is positive then the whole thing is max now if f11 is positive and the above thing follow then it is minimum but if this determined value is negative then the system has no extreme values no max no mean and if this value equal to zero then we can it's a doubtful situation we need to further investigate on this which is called a saddle point situation we will get to this later so f11 f12 so first of all f11 was minus 61 so it's a very dicey situation so at 7 plus 7 if we put it is positive and that makes it minimum and at less than 0 it makes it maximum so if we take only the positive values you can calculate all these here okay so all you have to put first 7 and 3 as a combination into this structure and then minus 7 and minus 3 as a combination in this particular structure and you will be able to get it but the formula i'm just repeating again that f11 into f22 minus f12 square has to be positive in order to have any maximum or minima and then f11 is less than 0 so max f11 is greater than 0 so minimum 